There are a lot of surprises in the universe, and lately, astronomers using the Chandra X-ray Observatory discovered an astounding discovery. Scientists have found G29-38, a white dwarf in the constellation Pisces, which has been consuming the planets in its orbit. The once massive planets are being torn apart by the dead star's intense gravity and transformed into hot, burning bits of plasma. However, when a planet is being devoured by its host star, it doesn't always happen without resistance. Occasionally, the star will bite off more than it can chew. Researchers at the University of California have discovered that although stars can easily consume small planets like Earth, a super-Jupiter planet colliding with a star could send the star's entire atmosphere of incredibly hot plasma shooting into space. The star may even be torn apart internally by the tremendous process. When a planet and star collide, the impact is so strong that the planet breaks apart and shoots gas and matter into space. The gas and materials that have been expelled can then combine to create a completely new world. However, these misfit planets frequently have to face difficult circumstances when they travel through space alone. How do these roving planets modify the laws of physics to suit their new environment in the icy depths of space? And what other strange planets might exist in the cosmos? Logo, scientists are baffled by rogue planets, which are planets that were ejected from their original orbits and are currently lost in space. It is estimated that the Milky Way alone contains billions of them. Researchers studying astrophysicists have discovered that rogue planets are more common in planets from young star systems where protoplanets struggle with one another for resources. A larger planet pushes a smaller planet out into space in these systems when planets collide or approach too closely in orbit. However, even more ancient planets can become lost at sea. The delicate balance of an established planetary system can be upset by a passing star or black hole, which can push one or more planets out of their orbits. A planet banished to exile faces a dire destiny. Its surface cools to space temperature, minus 270 degrees Celsius, 455 degrees Fahrenheit, as it leaves its star system. Oceans of liquid water on the Earth condense into ice. There would be no seasons or day-night cycle on such a planet. However, Florida Institute of Technology Professor Munus V. Lingam thinks life might still be thriving on renegade planets. How could that be true? Imagine an Earth-like world that is rocky and nomadic. Its core has billions of years to produce heat. There could be enough heat from this source to melt whatever ice that is on the surface and create water bodies. This phenomena has already been noted on Earth where researchers have found rivers and lakes with liquid water beneath Antarctica's ice that are home to odd fish, mollusks, and microorganisms. Under the ice of wandering planets, there might be similar life forms. And life might even be present on the surface of such a planet if it had a thick atmosphere of hydrogen. In the event that a rogue world is able to hold onto its atmosphere, it will prevent heat from the core from escaping into space. Usually, a big moon orbiting one of these planets would also add heat exerting gravitational pressure and stretching its companion. Although the possibility of such planets exists only in theory, NASA will soon be able to confirm it through the use of extrasolar object interceptors. Compact radioisotope electric probes are called extrasolar object interceptors. Interceptors will go to a rogue planet or other celestial body that finds its way into our solar system, gather samples, and then return to Earth. With this technology, spacecraft are even able to track extrasolar objects and, in less than 10 years, return to Earth with samples. Scientists are interested in other worlds besides misfit planets, though. PSR B1257 plus 12, or Poltergeist, is 2,300 light-years away from Earth and is situated in the constellation Virgo. Astronomers have always been fascinated by and curious about this planet. Its orbit around a pulsar, which is formed when a giant star bursts in a catastrophic explosion that leaves little possibility for any planet circling it to survive, makes its existence all the more puzzling. Nevertheless, Poltergeist not only lived, but also remained whole and undamaged in spite of all the odds. It was discovered by astronomers that cosmic debris makes up the planet. Many fragments of broken celestial bodies were launched into space during a supernova explosion, and these parts eventually came together to form Poltergeist. Scientists believe that the planet ought to have a stable, rocky surface. Poltergeist is continually exposed to ionizing radiation from its star's magnetic field, which is one of the most potent sources of microwave radiation. 
All living creatures would perish in such conditions, but not on our planet. According to recent research, poltergeist might become habitable if it had a thick atmosphere that protected the planet from dangerous X and gamma radiation. The planet's radiation levels are still far higher than Earth's, though. So only simple organisms rather than more complex life forms would be able to survive there. For instance, on Earth, a hardy bacterium known as Deinococcus radiodurans has demonstrated the capacity to endure radiation exposures 500 times greater than what is safe for humans. Thus, it's plausible that related creatures may coexist with poltergeist. Another unusual world is the massive exoplanet Beta Pictoris b, which is situated 63 light years from Earth. It had been hiding from astronomers for a long time in the thick gas and dust clouds surrounding its young star. The age of the star Beta Pictoris is only roughly 20 million years. 30 exocomets, which are roughly the size of comets in our solar system, were found in the star's system by astronomers in 2022. The true face of Beta Pictoris b has now been revealed to scientists after years of looking through a thick covering of dust. Using the Very Large Telescope, scientists monitored the planet's orbit around its star for four years. And these gorgeous pictures were just made public. The supergiant planet Beta Pictoris b has a mass of roughly 11 times that of Jupiter and a radius 1.65 times that of Jupiter. It rotates more quickly than the solar system's gas giant, taking only 8.1 hours to complete one round on its axis. However, the planet's primary riddle is still unanswered. The distance of Beta Pictoris b from its star is 10 astronomical units, which is comparable to Saturn's separation from the Sun. The gas giant, however, has a temperature of 1,451 degrees Celsius, 2,644 degrees Fahrenheit, based on astronomers' estimations, which is unusual for a planet that far from its star. Although this theory has not yet been proven, it is possible that the planet's enormous bulk and thick layer of dust are retaining the heat. One more celestial planet dominates the category of huge gas giants, surpassing Jupiter in power. Discovered in the Auriga constellation in 2022, AB Origibi has a radius of 1.12 times that of Jupiter and is nine times more massive than the gas giant planet in our solar system. Researchers refer to AB Origibi as the elephant planet. Furthermore, it is still forming in the 38 times brighter than the sun system of its young star. Furthermore, the Earth is expanding beyond the bounds of physical principles. It is located on the outside of its star system, over a hundred times farther from our star than Earth is, and over twice as far from the Sun as Pluto. On an exoplanet, the year is equivalent to 587.7 Earth years. Standard scientific models cannot explain how AB Origi B could have accumulated such a massive mass at this distance from the star. This usually occurs as a result of gas and matter being pulled toward the protoplanet's core by gravity. However, it doesn't appear that there is much material to construct the planet outside of the solar system. This implies that AB Origi be developed in a distinct manner. Planets could potentially form from cosmic junk. Occasionally, the disk surrounding a young star fragments into chunks the size of planets when it cools down due to gravity. Perhaps one of these fragments contributed to the development of the massive planet. It keeps expanding by taking in the surrounding gas, which is still plentiful in the young star system. AB Origi B is already getting close to the mass threshold that divides it from a brown dwarf. Let's examine another system, though, where the sizes are noticeably out of proportion. Earth is just 30 light years distant from the planet GJ 3512b. This gas giant is half the size of Jupiter and is located in the Ursa Major constellation. It is centered on a red dwarf that is 50 times fainter and nearly 5 times smaller than the Sun. While the Sun is over 1,050 times more massive than Jupiter, the red dwarf GJ3512 has a mass of little more than 270 times that of the planet. The finding that a gas giant such as GJ3512b orbits a tiny star casts doubt on long-held theories on the formation of planets. It was previously believed that the absence of gas and dust in the disks of tiny stars prevented the formation of gas giants surrounding them and that the only planets that could exist in such systems would be Earth-sized planets or more massive super-Earths. This notion, nevertheless, might have resulted from the challenge of finding such planets in the faint light of their parent stars. 
Although debris from stellar disks is thought to generate these giants, the existence of a gas giant such as GJ3512b is all the more astonishing given the dearth of material in the disk of a tiny star. With the primary assistance of the European Space Mission Ariel and the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists seek to solve the mystery surrounding these worlds. Its primary goal upon launch in 2029 will be to study exoplanets. We sincerely hope you enjoy this tour of some of the universe's most intriguing planets. Please use the very thanks button to let us know if you like the movie. Also, be sure to check back often to see the most recent advancements in technology and space exploration. I appreciate you seeing. In the future, many thanks. And good luck. You.